everyone, good morning, and welcome to Trucker Vlog 12. There she is, she's warming up, getting ready to get out of here. It is 3.30 in the morning, there goes the reefer. A uh, guy I work for came in last night and loaded up the trailer, so all I do is come in today, heat my coffee up, make a Pop-Tart, and I am ready to go. So, normally when I've been doing these trucker vlogs, I've just been picking uh, sections of road and just been rambling and showing you some parts of uh, where I'm going. But uh, today's going to be a typical 12-hour day. I'm going down to uh, the Philadelphia Produce Market. I got to deliver, I got to pick up. And then I'm heading out to Lancaster. I got to deliver, pick up, and then I got to go to our retail store and then back here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do like two or three minute clips of certain areas and throughout the day. And you can come along on a 12, 13 hour day with me. So uh, let's get this started and we'll just get this thing out of here and then uh, I'll catch up with you again later. So here we go. All right, and away we go. started with that double take app but it is so dark in the truck you can't even see in here so there's no sense so I guess the first one will just do the, uh, the normal camera view start out in second that's third that is the Lehigh Valley International Airport directly across from us that's the tower nobody's coming either way during the day, this road's real busy. It's a pain in the ass to get out. But in the middle of the night, it's not a problem. So this thing should scan blue. Did it scan blue? Yep, there it goes. Hey, it worked. Now, I'm supposed to turn left. in the middle all the way down there and then all the way back down here each one of these colors is a section there's eight sections there's about ten different uh, produce companies so I'll be in here for about an hour an hour and a half running around I've made some videos on it before but this is kind of what it looks like inside so this is what a typical cooler looks like down here at the market I got them three high and when I get stuff I asked them to bring it down. We happen to be getting 90 of these, so I gotta split my own stuff. And then there's tickets, I have to go out, and get it signed, and I can take it. And this is what it looks like out back by the docks. That would be the cooler like I just showed you. It's all the way down here. And then the loading docks go all the way around the building. He's waving high. All right. Oh. It is 7 a.m. We're all finished down here at the market. I just spent the last half hour these reading glasses. I just got these uh, two days ago. I usually get the dollar store ones or the ones off Amazon. But I happened to be at the store the other day and uh, I decided to buy these. They're like 25 bucks. Just better quality. They have that blue, whatever that new thing is now, that blue cuts out the blue shit from the phones on the lenses and all that stuff but uh see all the traffic going here and trying to get out uh, so anyhow yeah long story short so i actually spent some money on some decent reader glasses and uh i set them on my head and then at the last uh place i was picking up down there i just set them up my head and when i got back here to my truck when i got off the forklift or the jack i reached up and they were gone. Luckily, back at TMK, one of the guys in there picked them up. But I had his, I guess the word was around that somebody found glasses and I had to spend 20 minutes going around the market till I found them. But anyhow, I got them back. So, anyhow, 
7 a.m. We're all done here. We're heading to Lancaster, so I'm gonna go close my doors and uh, catch up with you a little bit later in the day. All right, everyone. It is now 7:30. Last spoke to you. I just pulled out, and closed the doors. It actually, took a few minutes and ate my sandwich. This is Island Avenue. We're about to get on 95. That traffic light is one that has a bunch of cameras, so if you run through the light, you can get a ticket. This is the ramp to get on 95 South. We get up here, I actually have to go across, go across three lanes to get over. Straight ahead is more of an exit already. Sun is a shining. When I clean my windows, I hope it looks a little better. <laughs> so this is what I was talking about. I have to go all the way to that left lane. People do not give an inch down here. That's where the exit is. Back in the day, going to the truck stops in the middle of the night, people come up and knock on your door and ask you for money. Really back in the day, there used to be a lot of women at the truck stops and seeing if you want company so much anymore. Usually this is like at least three quarters filled even at this time of day. Can't believe how empty it is. I thought it'd be interesting seeing seeing me squeeze in between some trucks, but and right here is the exit. And then fun fact, <laughs> I shot another one of them traffic videos right there where that truck is parked up there. Same thing, I pulled up there, set it up, went to the bathroom and recorded it. So anyhow, moving along. See ya. Cool old house there on the right. We're getting close to our stop. It is five of ten. Some snake turns through or some snake turns, yeah. Some S turns through here, so I figured I'd turn it on. It's kind of in a woodsy area. Over the line, and uh, yeah, 
that wasn't the easiest thing to get around. And and the girl the, the girl had her hood up too. And then she gave me attitude because she had to close her hood so I could get around. Yeah, I was all the way in the grass. That was a day. Um, there's a house right up here and a guy in a wheelchair. All those waves when I go by. I always blow the air away. See if he's out. Uh, I don't see him. The garage door's open. <laughs> Always honky, always wave, so maybe if you heard me inside, you know what's going on. Alright, we got about three minutes down this road from there, I'll turn it back on there. It's a cool old international truck. Turn in. Oh, yeah. See what kind of craziness we have here today. Always look, make sure no one's coming out. Okay. So that road in front of, right up there. I have to back up there and then up to the left is the docks. So I gotta turn around and back up there. And there's a guy up there with a pickup truck, so I'm gonna have to stop halfway up. So I'm gonna back into him. <coughs> Make sure I don't drive into that building. Bed there. This produce company, or they have three grocery stores, but they also have uh, garden centers. So they have to go pick up loads of uh, mulch and stone and stuff. Okay. Backing up the hill. back her in. There's another shot. That's where we're backing in. That's where we came. You can see, see the truck leaving up there. So, an hour and a half, 
a little faster. I thought I'd be here for at least two hours. You can tell I don't have as much motivation in my voice anymore. The days get longer. Things aren't always that smooth around here, but we got it done. Okay. That was the tricky part. We're out front. Alright, I'm gonna go close my doors. Uh, 11.30, it's a two hour drive to uh, the retail store now. Unless I, I might stop for coffee, but uh, I don't know. See you in a little bit. <laughs> stop and get fuel for uh, Lehigh Street out in town, Pennsylvania. A little bit of a tight turn. It is 10 after 1. For an hour and a half hour drive to the warehouse. I'll check in again one more time over there. Just like that, it is 5 of 3. We are back at the warehouse. And 
right out front is where I stood there uh, 11 and a half hours ago. This is probably one heck of a long video. So if you made it this far, God bless you. Thanks for watching. Consider like, comment, and subscribing or don't. I'm glad you spent the time watching this. Uh, stay safe. I'm tired. I'm going home and freaking eating dinner and watching TV. I'll see you later.